part 29. And we're going to continue by going into perspective. Uh, and just extending the height of this. So I'm going in top, actually. Pressing F3. Just moving that down. And increasing this. situated in there. We're going to convert it to an editable poly. Select these edges here. Chamfer. Give it objects on the left hand viewport and bring them up to the bottom. Alright, that's where it's supposed to go. And finally, let's get one more box here. Right off the wall and give it a head of four. And just bring it back to about there. Top. Select the objects again. That'd be difficult. And then just move them over. Alright, there we go. We have a secondary thing done. Mm -hmm. Alright, next we're going to have to work on the tiles. Is there actually tiles? 0.75 inches off pretty much all these walls here. So, I think we're just going to do it directly on the wall. I'll just attach it later. Mm. So, we'll go to Edge, and let's actually isolate this just to give us better control. Let me get some measurements. And I'm back armed with information. I'm actually going to do it a different way than originally planned. So, make a box. Make the height C. 85. Make the length 0.75. And make the width. And we'll deal with that later. So, go to the top. 
up here and let's just sink it ever so slightly in okay convert to an editable poly select this and then select the side polygon and extrude it to 0.75 okay and select that polygon that we just extruded and extrude that out just to about here. We're going to alter that later. Select all those verts and just drag them so they slightly sink in. And we're going to do the same for this side. Extrude 0.75. Okay. Select the verts. so slightly in, then select the polygon, extrude, and then just extrude up to about the same height as the other one. Okay, next go into perspective here, and how do I want to do this? Select edge, and select all the outside edges and corners that aren't on the top and bottom. Alright. Then chamfer. And give them a lot of segments. Okay. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Okay. Next, what we want to do is just check that. So, inventing, we're going to have problems, and we do. So, let's undo the chamfer. Go to edge, and let's try to select these edges and chamfer. Oop. Chamfer. edges and backspace those two lines and unfortunately select all your lines over again but it's not that many so it's all good all right once you have them all let's chamfer again the 10 segments is what we want is a really broken up edge if you will and then just give this a Smooth modifier and auto smooth. All right. Next, let's exit isolation mode, and save. And then we have to move all of our things out. So select all the appliance-like objects. soap holder, bring it out, select all of that stuff, grab this thing we just put, and bring that out, and actually let's uh, grab some of these, oops, wrong thing selected, let's just grab some of these verts in here, what? Obviously it doesn't want me to select the correct object here. There we go. And just select these. 